All right, Shalom, Akim, Zahar, Spirit, Wind, Judah, from the GMS Mississippi camp, giving our honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Chakadash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles, great millstone, we well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. All right, and what I want to go into today is a part two of the Selenite Stone. All right, and because right when I got done doing a video, I realized there were some important things that I left out because not only does selenite have its own um, metaphysical benefits as well as its uh, medicinal benefits, okay, all right, spiritual benefits, it also has a very um, important characteristic, a very important factor, and that's the fact that it, it charges other stones, all right, because what was really important when you're using stones, all right, that you have a smaller shot made to benefit your body, to benefit your mind and your spirit, right? You have to recharge the stones. Now you have the full moon and the new moon and the moon energizes the stones, all right? When you set your stones out in a new moon, all right? That's just not belonging to some other outside culture. No, that's just a fact in general that the, the moon, the new moon, all right, charges stones, all right? And one thing that's powerful about the new moon is that it draws water out of the soil or it draws the energy from the earth all right so farmers a lot of farmers plant seeds a certain type of vegetation during the time of the new moon and full moon all right but one stone like i said that has the attribute of the moon which is a charging attribute of the moon it's the selenite stone all right and this just so happens to be tumbled down into the shape of a moon all right and here's another platform here's another platform this is a selenite plate that you will use to charge a stone all right and this is like a, a selenite tower all right and what you would do with this all right what you would do with this is that if you have bracelets you will put the bracelets on top of here all right so let's just say you hit this on your bookshelf and you have your, your bracelets with the gemstones in them right the way you keep your bracelets charged up or the stones when your bracelet charged up is that when you get done for the day the, the selenite tower you will put this on top of the um, selenite tower or like like a clothing rack okay and what that would do that would constantly cleanse and charge the stone all right because you can have stones but if you never charge them then, then you might not really feel the metaphysical and medicinal properties of those stones all right so this would be for an example for your bracelet or your necklaces all right and this one would be um this would be the, used to put other stones on top of all right so you have the plate let's say this is another type of stone let's see if i have another stone all right let me just use this rose quartz let's say for an example you had this rose quartz and you want to charge the property of the rose quartz you want to charge the rose quartz and you'll put the rose quartz on top of here and let it charge so let it charge overnight. Then in the morning time, you can pick it up. All right, but whenever you're through using it, you know, you can let it charge roughly for about, I think the rule of thumb is about six hours. But that, that pretty much is saying, look, charge it overnight. Another thing, if you have choice choice stones that you want to use, all right, choice stones that you want to use, you can take this particular bag. It actually has a name for it, but I can't remember the name for it. Once you go to the, the metaphysical store, you can ask for a bag like this. And it costs about a dollar, two dollars, and you put your favorite stones in it, all right? But also, you could put a selenite sphere inside of your bag, all right? You can put a selenite sphere, sphere inside of your bag, all right? Put it inside of here, all right? And then put your other choice stones in that same bag. And then let it charge while it's with you, or you could just put it in the bag and let it charge overnight, all right? Another thing you could do is you get that selenite stick that I had yesterday, you can put stones on top of it, okay? But once again, a selenite is a cleansing stone. Like I said, white represents purity in the gemstone world. So it's a purifies, purifying stone, but it's also a charging stone, all right? So I'm going to get Sirach 39 again, all right, just to submit what we're saying, all right? Um, Sirach 39 and 21, a man need not to say, what is this, wherefore is that? For he have made all things for their uses. All right, so, and, and one of the uses of the selenite stone, all right, is the fact that it, it charges, all right? 
it charges other stones. All right, it, and it cleanses the environment. It cleanses other stones. It cleanses the environment. All right, another thing too, when you make, when you make your bracelets and you make your necklaces, it'll be a nice idea to put the selenite. Um, you can put a selenite stone along with your bracelet. So when you make your bracelets, you can put a couple of selenite stones inside of your pattern. So right here is a um. Right here is what you call an amethyst bracelet. I actually made this at um at a you know jewelry store like uh the bead store, all right. But although it may be hard to tell, I actually have one or two um selenite stones in here, all right. And what that does, the selenite stone charges the other bracelets. I mean, I'm sorry, it charges the other stones within your bracelet set. So I have an amethyst, but to keep the amethyst charged up, I have a selenite with, within a um within a set. All right, I have a, a couple of selenite stones in here, and selenites are self-charging stones that charges other stones within it. So when you brothers make your necklaces and you make your bracelets, all right, especially if you want to receive the, the the properties from it, the medicinal and metaphysical properties from it, or right, it'd be a good idea to um to put a selenite stone put a selenite stone all right that's what my thumb is touching within your bracelet to help keep the other stones within the collection and charged up man so once again like i said the selenite with selenite goes back to selene which means the goddess of the moon all right but it has the but the selenite has the properties of the moon all right you could also take these right here and put them in each corner of your room all right and it's supposed to charge up your room all right or not charge up your room keep your the atmosphere clean all right because it's a cleansing stone but just to recap all right it's a, it's a uh, the selenite is a recharging stone or right, you could buy one of these i might have paid anywhere between 15 to 20 dollars for it i can't rem remember at this point but you can set it down on your dresser and then when you're done for the day you can just take your bracelets off and put it on top of there and it'll charge your bracelets up overnight or for any length of time that you want it you know around a six hour frame all right also um you could take you can buy a, a, a charging plate you can put your tumble stones on top of here or you can get a bag a little dollar dollar fifty bag all right and put a selenite stone inside the bag then along with the selenite stone you put your other stones inside the bag man but that's that's it's very important when you want to receive the spiritual and, and medicinal benefits of these stones man all right but though this is a part two all right it's a recap of the selenite and it's a follow-up of what i did yesterday because i forgot to mention it as soon as i got done all right I, I, when I, as soon as i got done excuse me i realized i didn't mention the charging properties so i thought it would be a great idea to do a video on it today but with that i hope you brothers and sisters were edified once again we want to give our honor and glory to yahweh bahasim yahweh shah bahasim rakhakudas i have an honest to our apostles great millstone as well Peace and blessed out David the elect. Baba Baal, Kamasha Allah, Shalom.